Hi, my name is Brian. Welcome back to our how-to series on industrial sewing machines. Today, using the reliable 7100 SB, I'm going to show you how to adjust the settings on an industrial blind stitch machine. The first mechanism you're going to come to on top of the machine is the thread nipper. When you push the knee lever to the right, it closes the thread nipper holding the thread, so when you pull the material away, it will break evenly. Next, you will come across your thread tension assembly. By moving this clockwise to the right, it increases the tension on the thread. By moving it counterclockwise to the left, it decreases the tension on the thread. Now, you will have your stitch regulator pin. Push this pin down and turn the hand wheel until you feel it go into the mechanism. Then when it's pushed into the mechanism, by turning the hand wheel forward and backward, you are adjusting the stitch length. Now on the front of the machine towards you, you see a silver dial that has more and less. By turning it to more, you are pushing up on the rib to meet the needle to make the needle penetrate deeper into the material. By less, you are lowering the rib away from the needle so it doesn't penetrate as deep. On the right hand side, you're gonna see one to one or skip or no skip. For one to one is your basic hemming and for most of your work. For two to one, if you're doing shears or wedding dresses, you would use this so it lays flat. When removing the needle, remove the screw on the needle holder, not too much so it doesn't fall off or come out of the pin. Now take your needle out and when you're putting your new needle back in, notice on one side, one side is round, one side is flat. The flat side will face you and the round side will fit inside the groove inside the needle carrier. When you have the needle in the needle carrier, snug the front plate up so it's not pinching the needle too tightly. This way you can move the needle all the way up into the support pin knowing that it's in properly. Then you can tighten the front plate that holds the needle in place. Thank you for watching our how-to series on industrial blind stitch sewing machines. Remember to like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions on a video you'd like to see, please leave us a comment. For more information, check out the description below.